Hey everyone, this is podcast 9.4 and we're going to just do a very, very quick review on how DNA is coded. And we've talked about it kind of in passing before, but we haven't really taken a, a deep look at it. And so we already know that the base is pair A, oops, if I turn a pin on it might work better. Base is pair with A and T, they always go together and G always goes with C. Uh, and the easy way to remember this is that the curved letters, okay, G and C both have a curve as part of them. These ones stick together. They pair together. And they work like puzzle pieces. So if you're a puzzle doer like I am, uh, each piece has a specific cutter part that it has to fit with. And it doesn't fit if it's not, you know, aligned right or, or uh, designed right. And so when we're looking at the cytosine or the C, and this is cytosine and guanine over here. You don't need to worry about these shapes, okay? All you need to worry about, though, is that cytosine and guanine both need three bonds in order to fit together, in order for their pairing to work. Thymine and adenine, on the other hand, A and T, these guys only need two bonds. And these dotted lines here, these are bonds, okay? And these are the attractions that hold the base pairs together to keep the DNA as a double strand. So the diagram above shows how each pair links. Can the adenine ever pair with cytosine, then why or why not? So I'd like you to just jot down a brief answer in your notes uh, what, on what we just talked about a second ago. Okay, and here's a simpler diagram, and this is one that you may have seen something like before. Uh, so all the thymines are going to be these red triangle shapes. The adenines are the counterpart to that. They're going to be the green one with a triangle cutout, and these ones have to pair together. The D stands for the sugar. This is the deoxyribose, and the P is the phosphate. So remember, deoxyribose is the structural portion, and the phosphate links the sugars together. Uh, so we can see the puzzle pieces fit together in the DNA strand on the left, and the bond in the middle is specifically called a hydrogen bond. And it's a specific type of bond, and it's not quite as strong as something called a covalent bond. It's more of an attraction. Uh, and so when adenine and thymine get together, they form this little attraction called hydrogen bond that holds it together. And since we know the pairings, we can sequence DNA. And you did this in the lab that we worked on in class. But if I give you a, a basic sequence, like, I don't know, A, G, G, T, A, C... So A, G, G, T, A, C, you should be able to write in the complement strand. And that's pretty much all DNA base pairing is. And remember, the base pairs, base pairs hold the information or hold the genetic info. Because we can change this order and it would say something different. And so what we're going to be getting into is that specific code. Uh, DNA is read in sets of three and we're going to be learning how to read those sets. So take a second, fill in this code, and uh, then you can continue on your uh, tic-tac-toe project. And we'll be talking about this more in class. So I'll see you then.